are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. Today, we are doing something that I've been wanting to do for damn near probably more than a decade. See this corner back here? I want to turn it into the ultimate coffee station. It sounded so lame. The ultimate coffee corner. That's it. I can't come up with anything better than that. That's that. I want to turn that into the ultimate coffee corner. I want to be able to make basically anything on the Starbucks menu at home because I don't like to leave my house. And also, I don't want to spend $6 per coffee and have to leave the house when I could just have over purchased the hell out of everything and spend what is gonna be an ROI of $6 per coffee over the next year to make it worth it. But I'm gonna be able to do it from home and I can experiment with different things and different syrups and change things up for the season. I'm really excited about it. Okay, I don't think it's terrible. It has everything we need, a milk frother, a, uh, a water percolator, the cups, sugar, the coffee maker and espresso. So it has everything we need, except it's not awesome. And I think it has the potential of being awesome. I don't know how much I'm gonna dig into this specific area, kinda sorta, so here's a good beforehand of it. That's just like the Ninja and, um, actually I have some coffee up there. Yeah, this is the coffee station. It's room for improvement for sure. I did not check to see if everything is here, but I'm kind of, it looks, eyeballing it, it looks like everything's here. I had to get more coffee for the Nespresso and then also some espresso beans. And then I have, these are my favorite sauces, the Torani ones. So I got two caramels, a white chocolate. It came in a four pack, so it was a little bit better of a deal doing it this way. And then it was Amazon, so it got here real fast. And then also dark chocolate. I can do my white chocolate mochas. I could do my caramel lattes. I know I'll be able to find some drinks for the dark chocolate. No, 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 I will drink that caramel straight out the bottle. It is so damn good. And then I've never tried have I tried the Tarani syrup? Oh, I do. I do have Tarani uh, syrup in there, but it's sugar-free, and I hate sugar-free things. It doesn't taste real. I'm not depriving myself in life. So we have some French vanilla, a classic hazelnut. That's Daryl's favorite. Love vanilla myself. A regular vanilla. I guess that would be like a classic syrup. And then the classic caramel. If you work at Starbucks, I'm pretty sure just standard vanilla was the classic syrup, right? I also bought a... Um, like a six pack or an eight pack of these spoons. Oh my God, you're so far away from me right now. These spoons, aren't they so cute? They're not matte, I don't know. They feel like a, a different kind of metal, like an anodized aluminum. I'll do some dishes in a minute. I'm real excited for this. So we have syrups. We have sauces. I considered putting the Tarani bottles out on display like actual coffee shop vibes, but then I decided to go and transfer them into these bottles so that it looks really nice. And I got these ones with the black caps on them, and these ones don't shoot up super high, at least I don't think they do. These were the only black ones that I could find that only shot up this much, and it came with the labels. And the labels, these front ones don't look super cute. These ones are just the classic ones, but they have some nice ones in here. The labels are supposed to be like, a, oh, that was just a listing. That was the list of labels. That wasn't a set of labels. So here are the labels. I think they look hella cute. And it came with a lot of them. And I'm glad that it came with two caramels because for the Tarani syrups, actually, I am just gonna cut the labels off because I think these bottles look really neat. And the gold still goes with things in our house. And then I'm just gonna put the caramel syrup label on this. Simple syrup. I make that all the time. These are supposed to be waterproof. They're not like dishwasher safe. They're not necessarily made for like washing in the sink either. It's just that if they get messy, you can wipe them clean, but you still have to, I think you have to try to keep them clean. At least I would, they feel like paper. This also came with two funnels. I actually hate getting extra things <laughs> if I'm not expecting it, because then I have to store it or organize it or figure out how to get rid of it. And I know a lot of people love getting the extra things, but now I just, I think I've retrained myself into hating it. I don't think that those bottles are going to fit the way that I thought that they were. I don't think that these are going to work out the way that I wanted them to. Unless I put like two of these in and like two syrups. Maybe I will have to do that. But I found these little wooden boards and it came as a two pack for like $11 and it's a small business. They're not the traditional oval shape that I've been seeing. They're shaped like melon seeds. And I thought that it was kind of cute for like a kitchen and also a little bit different and unique. I'm gonna figure out a way to make them work out. Um, oh, 
so excited to finally have one of these. This is something that my dad's always had. Uh, not this brand. This is just some random one off of Amazon. It had an absolute shit ton of reviews. Really amazing ones also. And it has a removable cup. That was the key for me. They did have it in other colors. Um, uh, maybe just like white, stainless steel, and black. I ended up getting the black one or the matte black one. This one is like a second model. There's one I think for $25. This one might have been $38. This one also had a knob that you can adjust the coarseness of your grind. It did come with a little accessory. Scoop and a brush. Could be helpful. We're almost down to the end of all of the things that I have bought. 25 square glass jars with black lids. What a random amount. Uh, also came with a funnel and then a labels list and a whole, an absolute shit ton of labels. And they have, they're supposed to have a little sifter. They do. They have a little sifter on top. You know what I'm going to put in these? Cocoa powder, you know? Um, I had another idea. So I have an espresso machine. I have a water percolator. I have a, a milk frother. I wanted an upgrade. You guys are gonna laugh, but I got sent an entire espresso machine. So Wersh did send this to me for my honest review. We are going to break into it and check this thing out as well. I did a decent amount of research to see if this machine would even be any good. And it has a lot of promise. It's a pretty good price point on Amazon in comparison to some others. They do have it on their own site as well. Oh, and real quick, I did also get myself a little snack while I was at the store. Meyer had this. This is, that might be only a Michigan thing are only a Midwest kind of a grocery store, but they're Campfire S'mores M&M's. I imagine because they're M&M's that they do have them in other stores such as Walmart and Target. They were expensive though. This entire bag was 7.44 ounces, was $5.99. That sounds nuts, right? Do you think they all taste the same? Or are they different? Hmm. Honestly, those are delicious. Six bucks though, that's expensive. That's really expensive. This is the only reason I ever clean is because when fall happens, I get the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scented spray and I stock up on it for the year. This stuff's amazing. It smells like fall in here. It's so dang good. All right, it's time to set up the machine. I'm definitely going to need the user manual. I watched a ton of videos. I hope that I get it, that I understand it. Got stuff falling out of the sides. Oh, I like this. It's a tamp and a scoop in one. And it's like heavy. This feels quality. This feels nice. We have the porta filter. This feels like a really nice quality too. It suction cups to the countertop. So you're not going to be losing that. It has little tape bits everywhere. Let's get that stuff off. This is remove the red silicone sealer before use. Mm. Dang, that thing is what was holding it all together. This is clean. This can hold an absolute ton of water. Minimum line, maximum line. I have it about here because I do not like water sitting in a, uh, a tank, even though it's filtered water. I don't like it sitting in a tank like that for that long. I take it back. The instructions say to fill it to the max line the first time. And then after this, I could put in how much water I want. Insert the plug into the outlet of a suitable voltage. Press the power button. This is mine. I got it on Amazon last year when I wanted to learn how to do latte art and did not have a suitable device for it. And today I do. All right, so it says to take the wand and we're going to purge it for eight seconds. Turn on the steam knob, then turn off the steam knob. This process is to let the water flow into the empty pump for the first use. How do people look cool doing this? I cannot figure it out. There we go. All right, place a cup under and let it do its thing. Let's do a double shot. Perfection. I guess that means that we are ready to use it for the first time, but not before we finish setting up the entire coffee bar and figure out where it needs to go. For this one, we only ever use espresso capsules because the Nespresso coffee I think it tastes terrible. I do regret getting this machine. I do not love it. The pods are way too expensive. There's no other good option for it. I feel like what I really need is a Keurig and then just this thing. I'm gonna say the Nespresso goes here. And then this one goes. 
Oh, that's nice. Oh my God, it fits underneath the counter, so sweet. Okay, no. This is, it's in such an awkward spot. I feel like this corner has almost nothing to it. We need to move it to the corner and it has such a nice lid right here. I don't need to remove the water reservoir in order to refill it. I can refill it from back there. That's me just rationalizing where I'm putting it. And this is my water. It's a good thing those black cords match. All right, I'm liking this so far. Let's fill up some syrup. We are going to do the syrups first. I wanna put the labels on the jars while I can lay them down though. That way I know that they're perfectly straight because once I put the syrup in it, try to lay it down, I know it's gonna go south. <laughs> For the sauces, I didn't want to transfer these into another bottle. Honestly, there were no other cute bottles and these would look fine enough without their branded label on them. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, it looks slightly better in their own labels, but now I'm committed. Now every idea is gonna be a great one. This might not turn out looking any better than it did previously. turned out super cute. That's better. This is how I store all of our coffee pods. I think that it looks nice. Okay, so we have a bunch of things that just need to get organized now. It's looking killer already. Okay, but what if we left the coffee pods for the Nespresso out and slid that in and this was just like sauces that you could pull out? sauces and the sugar oh my god so cute i am going to definitely be crazy about that that's adorable i love this all three of these oh my god it will now let's do darkest to lightest shut up that's so cute Let's pop up here and see what we can just kind of clean up or maybe purge, maybe get rid of. And we need a place for the coffee bean smasher and the coffee bean. Sometimes I add um, infused caramel to my coffee. And so I just keep that tucked all the way back here. And these are, oh yeah, my little latte art um, for stim. Oh, we gotta make the cocoa powder. That's what kind of helps with the latte art too. I got a little pot leaf one. We have a milk frother. How about the backup syrups? I have a sugar-free, a regular old chocolate, and a backup caramel. Oh my God, I love it. I'm literally clapping for myself right now. I have a French press and an iced coffee or iced tea brewer and then some more ground coffee stored in airtight containers up top that we never really reach for. So I'm gonna bring those down to a level that we can normally reach and store these uh, tall bottles up top. It is all done, are you ready for the grand reveal? But first, of course we need a reminder of what it looked like before. It was not intentional. I think that's the biggest word. That was supposed to be my word for 2023. It kind of faded and, and lost its groove at some point along the way, but I feel like we're back to it. I feel like this is a very intentional space in my kitchen, that this is a place that I would gravitate towards, not that I need any more caffeine. I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice. It looks so nice. All right, we are gonna make a single shot espresso. We need to first measure out our beans. Fine grind. That is almost powder now. It says with 33 pounds of pressure, which means absolutely nothing to me. It 
looks pretty good. It has a little crema. Okay, now we gotta froth the milk. I'm gonna go with four ounces. Okay, this is probably where it would be difficult to have it pushed back in this corner. I might have to rethink this. Dip the tip in, turn the knob. This coffee needs to be to go. So let's get it finished up. Not making any latte art today. Oh my God, what do I want? I want caramel sauce. Woo, yeah. A pump of vanilla. Get my little spoon. Time for the taste test. Does it taste like water? Did I make a good espresso? Technically speaking, I believe this is a vanilla caramel latte. Oh my God, it's still hot. Oh, I think that's stronger than Starbucks. Whenever I drink coffee, I put creamer in it. Without creamer in it, this is so much hotter than I'm used to. That's delicious. That is shockingly good. I, I didn't think that I pushed hard enough on the espresso that we were going to have a pressure problem. If you are in the market for an espresso machine, first initial reaction for this is it's amazing. Give it a look, give it a gander, especially around this holiday season. This tastes like an actual coffee shop drink. Uh, they did not sponsor this video. I will see if they will give us a coupon code. I'll put the information for them down below. I'll put the information for everything that I got for my little coffee bar down below. I tried going relatively cheap, I'll be honest. I'm going to be so excited in the morning to come down here and use this. It's the perfect little tea station too because you can put the syrups and the sauces in the teas. It's just perfect. Okay, that's it. That's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you all so damn much for being here, for hanging out. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. It's the elevated home. Sometimes we do things elevated. It's usually stuff that we do around the home and also subscription boxes. It's a mix, but huge shout out also to my patrons for making, oh no, I know I gotta go, for making videos like this possible. I love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.